the African Leaders Nairobi Declaration and Call to Action, which defines a strong and distinctly African contribution to the global discourse on uh, William Samoye Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya. Chairperson and members of the East that the Kenya sent to Iyala a very seasoned, knowledgeable, and hard-working team. David Sankok. <laughs> the chapter from Burundi to stand up for recognition. Region. For example, we all saw you recently with the Honorable Raila Odinga. What we've done for many years, that we are going to reposition our continent as... That Honorable Jeffa Amazon King, the Speaker of the Senate of Kenya. The anthems. Remain standing for the parliamentary prayer. Let's pray. Honorable, honorable members, that the speaker of the assembly may invite any person to attend the assembly. I also wish to commend you for your able and visionary leadership, which has enhanced the visibility and the development of Kenya. Under your leadership, under your leadership, we note the positive and close working relations you have had with the leadership of both houses of Kenya Parliament and to us, and this explains the progress you have as a country. On matters of peace, security, and unity, you have done very well by championing homegrown solutions to issues that affect our partner states and the region. For example, we all saw you recently with the Honorable Raila Odinga working side by side with President Museveni engrossed, engrossed, engrossed in deep discussions on how to advance regional peace, enhance freedoms for Kenyans, and work, and work for the common good of our peoples. It is only through such that the pursuit of homegrown solutions even to the DRC crisis, 
will make our region an invite to all and will support development. This serves to portray the EAC mechanism for conflict resolution in high esteem. I want to further thank you for the lead you are taking in promoting world peace by taking the mantle of stabilizing countries that are facing insecurity. It is a good move, but not all the external forces may be happy about, about it because you have rightly challenged the inaction. You can, however, count on IALA, the EAC, and Africa at large for support since these efforts renew your commitment to ensuring peace and security for Kenya, the region, Africa, and beyond. On your calls from reforms of the international financial institution, such as IMF and the World Bank, we are proud to be associated with you with your bold statements calling for reforms to ensure fairness inclusively equity and equal opportunities for developing nations like those in our region, like those in our region who continue to be impoverished and marginalized by the developed world through these institutions. The circle they put us in should end so that we can generate international resources to spur growth on local industries infrastructure, and economically empower our citizens. We are, we in IALA, we have already adopted resolutions on promoting use of local currencies instead of the US dollar to pay for services, resolution to promote local leather industries by banning and processed hides, among others. We also associate ourselves with your stand on reforming global action on climate change and the, and the environment and the leadership you continue to give during global, global summits. As has been noted, in many quarters, your words of wisdom have often been inspirational. Our sitting in Kenya is based on our desire to bring the assembly to the peoples of Kenya. This is provided under Article 55 of the EAC Treaty that the assembly should have sittings in the partner states. We are therefore grateful to the leadership of the Republic of Kenya for graciously accepting to host us. Special thanks, special thanks are also conveyed to the Right Honorable Moses Wetangula, the Speaker of the Kenya National Assembly, and the Right Honorable Jeffa Amazon King, the Speaker of the Senate of Kenya, for according us very excellent facilities. Your Excellency, our forefathers, supported the idea of rotational sittings because it enhances the visibility of the East African community. It increases public awareness, participation of people in the integration process. It also serves as an opportunity to enhance cooperation with the national assemblies of the partner states in line with the requirements of Article 65 of the treaty. It also provides an opportunity for head of states to speak to East Africans of the region for a united and prosperous EAC, as IALA, we shall also tap into your wisdom on integration. Your Excellency, during our sittings, we shall consider five bills, eight committee oversight reports, nine questions to the Council of Ministers, 
three petitions from the ESC citizens, six motions for resolutions of the assembly, and a report to amend the IALA rules of procedure. We shall also engage in joint activities with our brothers and sisters of Parliament of Kenya in order to foster deep cooperation amongst our institutions. We shall also embark on outreach and sensitization of the people of Kenya, particularly through the Kenya Women Parliamentary Association, the Parliamentary Youth Caucus, and interface with Kenyan traders on cross-border trade. Members will also grace the International Women's Day celebrations in Embu County, while some will visit the Maasai community in Narok County. Honorable Sankok, you, you invited us. Your Excellency, before I conclude, allow me in a special way to thank you in person and the Parliament of Kenya, as well as the ministry responsible for EAC affairs for being the lead partner state in completing her subs subscription to EAC by 100% and in a timely manner. Your Excellency, our sittings in Nairobi will run from 4th to 20th March 2024 at the Parliament of Kenya. We are indeed honored, honored to have you amidst us, even your busy schedule. I welcome you to this special sitting and your presence here today exemplifies the deep commitment you hold to the East African community. Thank you. Thank you for positively responding to our invitation. Your Excellency, as you may know, the term of this assembly, which is the fifth assembly, commenced on 19th December 2022. On that occasion, we were joined for the very first time by our colleagues from the DRC. Very soon, we shall have members from Somalia. Allow me, allow me to thank the summit for the vision of an expanded EAC. With Somalia on board, the bloc now has eight members. All in all, I have a very good team of MPs of the IALA of the Fifth Assembly, and I'm particularly blessed that the Kenya sent to IALA a very seasoned, knowledgeable, and hard-working team. 